Step 1. Deploy your own Uniswap contracts. Step 2. Add a protocol fee and earn fees when anyone swaps tokens. Step 3. Retire on a beach. I'll show you how to do this with code, minus the retiring on a beach part, but I do like this one here. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's rewind. There's a current proposal to turn on protocol fees for Uniswap v3. That's not fees going to liquidity providers. That's a fee going to the owner of the DEX itself, Uniswap. The proposal is to take one-fifth of pool fees on select pools, those that would earn over 10000 per year from the fee. And this is huge news, and should earn Uniswap over $100 million in the first year. But how can you do this, and why should you? In this video, I'll show you how to deploy V3 contracts locally, deploy a pool, and add a protocol fee to that pool, so that you as the protocol owner earn fees on every trade that anyone makes. I'm Blockman, and I teach DeFi developers how to interact with Uniswap programmatically. If you want to learn to build a Uniswap interface that can swap tokens, add and remove liquidity and more, sign up for my Uniswap V3 Masterclass. Link in the description. Now let's walk through some code. All the code you'll need is in the description, but stick with me through this video and I'll show you how to use it. I have a number of scripts here for doing things like deploying the main Uniswap contracts, deploying tokens, creating pools for those tokens, adding liquidity to those pools, swapping tokens, and withdrawing the protocol fee. That's your cut of all liquidity provider fees. For most of these, we'll just run them without any explanation, but in a couple of them, I'll explain in more detail how to add and collect protocol fees. This first script deploys the Uniswap contracts. Start a local hardhat node and run it. Here's the command you'll need. First, I'll start the hardhat node, and then in another window, I'll paste in this command. This second script deploys tokens. Run it as well. You can paste this into the same window. This third script deploys a pool, but it also sets a protocol fee on that pool. So let's walk through this file. Start by importing .env so we can access contract addresses that we've deployed in our previous scripts. These contract addresses were added to the .env file. So we'll use .env to read them from here. Then build an artifacts object with the artifacts of the contracts that we'll be using in this script. I'm pulling artifacts for the factory, an FP manager, and V3 pool from Uniswap's V3 core and periphery libraries. Import a couple modules from ethers.js. Import bignumber.js, import fs and permissify, which we'll be using to write deployed pool addresses to the .env file, and configure the big number library. I look forward to Hardhat releasing a version compatible with Ether 6, so we don't need to deal with external big number libraries anymore. Hopefully that's coming soon. Get a provider from Ethers. This function takes a ratio of the two tokens and encodes that into a square root x96 value to set the starting price ratio on the pool. Initialize a couple contracts, the non-fungible position manager, and the factory. This function deploys a pool by calling create an initialize pool if necessary on the NFP manager, and then we look up the address for that newly deployed pool. In our main function, we get a signer, which we call owner, who will deploy the pool. We call our function to deploy the pool, and this pool is going to have Tether and USDC in it. And we'll be using the 10,000 fee tier to try and maximize the liquidity provider fees, and so also maximize the protocol fees. Initialize the new pool with the return address from above. And now the fun part, adding the protocol fee. As far as I know, the Uniswap documentation gives you this function, set fee protocol, but it doesn't explain how the arguments work or how to use it. Luckily, that's what I'm here for. 
if we look at the implementation of set fee protocol in the Solidity code, line 837 at the time I'm recording this, we can see it takes two arguments that end in 0 and 1. Fee protocol 0 and fee protocol 1. It's safe to assume that fee protocol 0 applies to the first token on the protocol, and fee protocol 1 applies to the second token. If we look at the require here, we can see that both of these values must be either 0, or greater than or equal to 4, and less than or equal to 10. So the values you're passing in can be 0 or 4 through 10. The cut of fees is equal to 1 over the value you pass in for each token. So if you pass in a value of 10, it will collect 1 tenth of liquidity provider fees. And if you pass in a value of 4, it will take a quarter of liquidity provider fees, which is a wild amount of money on a large pool. Though I fully support Uniswap or your DEX becoming a profitable business. That's how we set the fee, but stick around and we'll collect these fees in a moment. The rest of this just writes the pool address to our .emv file so that we can get this pool address in later scripts. Let's run this script to deploy the pool. This next script adds liquidity to the pool. Let's run this. Script number 5 checks the current liquidity on the pool, so you can ensure that there is liquidity for swapping. We can see there is liquidity. This next script swaps a token, so that the protocol can accrue some fees. Let's run it. We can also see that after running the last script, pool data, there are no protocol fees. But let's check it out now that we've done a swap. I'm going to run script number 5 again. And we now have some protocol fees that belong to us. There's fees on the first token, but not the second token. If you did a swap in the other direction, this would have some fees as well. Now it's time to collect our fees. We'll only need the pool address here because that's the only contract we'll initialize. And the pool artifact for the same reason. Import contract from Ether so we can initialize that contract. Get the owner, signer from Ethers as well as a provider, initialize the contract for our pool. We'll assign the amount that we'll try to withdraw from the protocol fees on the pool to a variable called withdraw amount. And finally, let's call the function to collect fees, which is called collect protocol. And it takes three arguments. The first is the recipient's address, where the fees will be sent. The second is the max amount of token zero that we want to collect. And the third is the max amount of token 1 fees that we want to collect. Now that we've collected, let's check the protocol fees again on the pool. And we can see that they're basically all removed. Now go retire on a beach, leave your questions and tutorial requests in the comments, and like and subscribe if you're still watching. I'll see you next time.